this out of something. Try this out of some, some fucking thing. And I'm truly concerned. So, I'm just trying to figure out. So, like, okay. As many of y'all know, I'm grown. I'm an adult. But every time I date somebody who's, like, younger than me, well, maybe it's just men in general. I don't freaking know. Why do some niggas be roughhousing so fucking rough? Like, bitch, Betty, like, play fighting with you hella fucking rough and shit. And I'm just like, I do not like that personally. Like, I really do not like getting roughhoused with like at all first of all like why are you fucking sitting on me hella hard suffocating me niggas be trying to twist your fucking wrist like bitch why are you doing all of that you are fucking stronger than me bitch like don't i, I hate play fighting i hate play fighting it literally upsets me i i'd be like ow this hurts this does not feel good anything like that it doesn't feel good and you know how if you okay this is like kind of inappropriate but <laughs> whatever bitch it has to be fucking said because maybe there's some men on here and you guys need to be informed play housing hello rough terrible stop we're not one of the fucking boys bitch if you want to go fucking play rough go play with one of your fucking homeboys bro like don't know we have time for that shit grabbing on me hard secondly um you know how when you're having sex with a man, you know, I don't know, maybe a dyke too. I, can I say dyke? I don't know if that's like a wrong word, but a girl with like a strap on or something. I don't know, a dick, a dick. Okay. And you're like, ow. Like, nigga, that's too fucking deep or whatever. And they be like, trying to keep doing it. Like, as if it's like, like, why are you doing that? It hurts. Not in a good way, bitch. Why are you trying to fucking shove your dick up my cervix, bro? I'm sorry. It has to be said, y'all. It has to be said. Nobody else is going to say it. I have to say it. I have to say it. I have to be the one. Like, bitch, what are you doing? Like, yeah, take that dick. No, nigga, like, no. Ain't nobody trying to take that fucking dick up my god, Like, up my fucking cervix, bro. Like, ow. Like, I'm not crazy. <laughs> it's really a thing. Like, bitch, what the fuck are you doing right now? Thinking like, yeah, I got a big dick, I got a long dick. No, nigga, that shit hurts. The fuck? I hate fucking men are so dumb, bro. And what are you gonna do? Catch your attitude mid sex session? Like, no, then you're gonna be a bitch. Then you're gonna be, why are you tripping? You be fucking tripping. No, bitch, I'm not tripping. God damn. I'm not saying I can't take the D. But some people have very long penises, okay? Like, you need to calm down. Anyways, I'm tired of the rough housing. I'm tired of the disrespectful shit when it comes to sex. Like, what the fuck? What else is hella irritating in sex that niggas be doing? Saying dumb shit. Ugh, I hate when niggas don't know. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh my god, you guys. I don't know if I've talked about this on live before, but my most awkward sexual encounter was when I was younger. And it was, uh, oh my god, I can't even say it, it's so embarrassing. <gasps> Bro, this is like the era of like, when niggas was saying like dope dick. There's like a song out there that's like dope, I got that dope dick, or some shit like that. I just remember it was like a song or something. And I was fucking this nigga who I was like dating, and I had like continuously fucked with him for a long time. We were like close. This nigga gonna say, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. This is literally almost 10 years ago, and I'm still so embarrassed. No, not 10 years ago, but you know. This nigga gonna say, you like, you like that dope dick, huh? 
bitch. And it was worse because the nigga had trash dick. Like, what's dope? <laughs> Just corny as fuck. I never spoke to that nigga ever again. Ever again. Bitch. I was like, <laughs> like the corniness. So terrible. It's nothing worse than a man who. Oh my god. It's nothing worse than when a nigga has trash dick and he really in his heart feels like it's not trash. Like really in his heart feels like it's not trash like bitch what are you talking about that was crazy for who for who 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 bitch, trash ass weak ass trash ass god and, and then right nigga's favorite excuse is be like cause you know I got a tattoo on my ass <laughs> no I can't say that <laughs> <laughs> this nigga was like oh I just know best cause it's your tattoos on your ass <laughs> my tattoos did it mm, okay just so embarrassing so embarrassing so embarrassing I hope my future husband is not on here I'm not a whore I just am open about sexual conversations <sighs> oh god <laughs> woo funny Trash as dick, bro. I hate it. Hate it with a passion. <clears throat> and then dudes will have trash dick and then have the audacity to not even know how to eat pussy. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm so serious right now. 2020 ladies. Here's a challenge for us, ladies. 2020 quit gassing these niggas up. And by, when I say that, I mean when a nigga's giving you head, don't just, uh, 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 no. Do not fucking moan until that shit feels fucking great. Because the, the problem with that is, niggas really out here thinking that they can eat some fucking pussy. No, you cannot. That shit is fucking trash. That's my pee hole. That's my fucking pee hole. What are you doing? Like, what the fuck? Niggas will gas you all the mm, see, I love you pussy. I love you pussy. I can't wait to eat your pussy. Oh my god, you know. You can they say I'm a head monster. I'm a head monster. I'm in the uh. No bitch, you're fucking trash. What the fuck is that? I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm gonna be done. I'm done now. <laughs> These are serious problems, guys. I'm really serious it's seriously a problem and like all that helicopter tongue shit that niggas think feels good no it doesn't they'd be like like a bitch calm down calm down <laughs> please calm down please calm down oh god fucking terrible men suck I just hate it I hate it I fucking hate it and then I'm just weak as fuck because I had tweeted on my twitter after I had got done fucking with somebody I tweeted on my twitter I was like I've had no good dick in so long <laughs> and he continue this conversation like Niggas be literally dumb. I'd be like, so. Shit, nothing really. I don't really be doing shit. I just be. All athletes, this is what athletes say. Shit, nothing. I just, I just like the game. Okay, and then music artists be like, shit, I just be in the studio pulling up. Okay, cool. So you're fucking dumb. Um, then regular niggas be like, I know you got hoes. I know you got hoes. You can't lie to me. You can't lie to me. I know you got hoes. Oh, uh, uh, hello. Why aren't you texting me back? Why aren't you texting me back? You an Instagram bitch. You an Instagram bitch. 
Fuck you! You're fucking annoying, you insecure bitch! I, it's like on never ending, never fucking ending, people. Never ending. Then you get a nigga that, okay, I like him, I like him, he like me, he like me. He he act, he trying to step up to the play. He trying to step up to the play. Bitch, six months later, I don't know if I'm ready for a relationship. What do you mean? We're in a relationship. Bitch, what are you talking about? <laughs> sorry, sorry, but it has to be said. 2020, we're putting these things on blast, babes. On blast. It is what it is. I said what I said. Literally. Poor niggas be the worst, too, because, like, bitch, I done tried to, like, you know, step out my comfort zone and be like, okay, you know what? People always be telling me, like, winter, you need to, you keep dating the same type of man. You keep dating the same type of man. I'm like, okay, okay. Let me try to date somebody who is not that wealthy okay i'm like let me really just you know i could glow him up i could i could spice his life a little bit you know like whatever like i'll put him on i'll put him on you know and then you see the type of bitches that he talks to and then those bitches are feeling like oh oh, 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 oh. That nigga trying to fuck with me and he fuck with Winter? Oh, we must be on the same level. No, what the? F now I done gassed five ugly bitches because you tried to talk to them a year ago. Like shit. You just can't fucking win. You just can't win in these fucking streets. Like, ugh, bitches DMing yeah, me woman to woman shit. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I don't fucking you I don't wanna talk to the damn poor bitch you know that shit step the fuck get the fuck out of my goddamn DMs Y'all don't know how many times every time I've dated somebody every time my, 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 it's three roaches soon as people find out three roaches Hey girl I just wanted to let you know that this bitch was fucking with that nigga a month ago Here's the pictures here's the screenshots here's the receipts and then I got an attitude Then I got an attitude then I got a then I got an attitude. It's hard out here, y'all. It's hard out here. Somebody said, for real, just date a white guy. <clears throat> okay, so here's the thing. I told y'all one I well, maybe not this specific group of people, but I told my life before. I tried to date a white man two times in my life, okay? This is when I could see, like, when I could actually be attracted to white men. Like, I could be like, oh, he's cute. Now I can't even, I don't even, no. Oh, bitch, bitch, big ass fucking truck almost hit my motherfucking car. Ew, I said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, a little snotty. Um, so... I dated a white man once. He cheated on me with a fucking midget. Then I dated another white man. And this is all when I was really young. And he was racist. And he did not know that I was mixed. And he said, some, some, some nigga. Or the hard ER. I don't use that word because I'm only half. I'm half white, so. But, um. So, he said that shit. And I said, what the fuck did you just say? And I was like, um. You know I'm mixed, right? And he was like, oh, no, I didn't do that. But there's a difference between uh, a, the ending of the A and the ER. You know you know what I'm trying to say? I don't, I don't really want to be saying all those racist things. Because it honestly, I'm like repeating those things. And I was like, what the fuck does that mean? And then we got into a whole argument, bitch. I fucking spit on that nigga. Like, bitch. So after that, I was just like, I just don't. I just don't even try to date white men because honestly like if we're just being honest like a, most white men are pretty fucking it depends on where they're from i guess but 
Shit, I just think they're all fucking racist. Then I had dated a Mexican and, um, bitch, she tried to fucking kill me, bitch. He set me up to get jumped and got my house fucking robbed. All because he heard a rumor I was pregnant. The whole time I wasn't even pregnant, bitch. Like, what the fuck? I was like a teen. And, um, yeah, set me up in my own fucking house. Shout out to those bitches, though, because they are literally poor. But, um, yeah. So, bitch, it's just like my dating history. It's just not, not all that. And then, I never really dated an Asian man, but I did kind of. I was, like, cool with the Asian guy, and, like, he kind of was trying to fuck with me. And now he's out here still to this day telling people that we fuck, that we never fuck. I'm just like, well, I guess that's out the fucking door. So I just don't. I just don't know. But you know, it's really sad. What if my soulmate is a fucking white man? And I'm just out here like, no. No. I don't know. And then like the way that my, white men be trying to get at you when you're out, they be like, hey. <laughs> hey, how you doing? What's your name? And I just be like, ew, get the fuck away from me. It's my fucking hot dog water. Sorry to the white man on here. Sorry. Somebody said, Mexicans will do that, but that's the thrill. LOL. No, bitch. I ain't got time for no motherfucking man killing me because he heard a fucking rumor. That nigga was crazy. He was crying in hella shit. He snapped my phone in half, bitch. I had one of them fucking razor phones. He snapped my shit in half. And then my mom came home from work and she was like, what the fuck is going on? You snapped my daughter's phone in half. You need to get the fuck off my property. I was like, this is too much. That He made me, bruh, this nigga made me piss on a fucking pregnancy test in front of him. Or he was going to fucking damn near kill me, bitch. And I was like, bro, bro, calm down, bro. Somebody said date an Indian then. I don't know any Indian men at all. Sucks for you. Toodles.